Hi, welcome again to Springwell 360. My name is Dr. Nadine Spring, and today we are going to talk about 10 small steps to improve your health. So these small steps, they're not time consuming at all, and even busy professionals can incorporate them daily to help maintain weight and maintain their well-being. Many of us every single year make health-related resolutions, such as to lose weight, to stop smoking if you're a smoker, or to join the neighborhood health club. So it's very common to set these high goals, but experts often recommend setting smaller goals, which could end up doing more for your health. And as you know, I personally believe in being consistently good instead of being occasionally perfect. And so here are 10 small steps to try. Number one, keep an eye on your weight regularly, but you don't wanna obsess over it and make sure you're not gaining extra pounds. So even if you just gain a pound or two every year, that extra weight can add up quickly. Have a plan in place to get back to your healthy weight. Number two, you can take more small steps. I recommend using a pedometer or a smartwatch to count your steps daily. And then every week, you can add 2,000, which is the equivalent of one extra mile. So you keep adding these steps every week or even every month if you're more comfortable waiting a month until you get to 10,000 steps on most days. Personally, when I'm walking, I like to listen to a podcast and it helps me to be very efficient with my time. Number three, eat breakfast. Breakfast eaters, they tend to weigh less and have better diets overall. For a filling and nutrition packed breakfast, you can top some whole grain with fresh fruit slices and add some low fat or fat free milk or even a plant based milk. My personal to go breakfast item is a smoothie. They are quick to make and they're filled with nutrients, fruits, and vegetables. And not to mention, they're very tasty. Number four, switch three grain servings each day to whole grain. If you are like the average American person, you are eating less than one whole grain serving per day. Number five, have at least one green salad every day. Eating a salad with a low fat or a fat free dressing is filling and it may help you to eat less during the meal. It also counts towards your five daily cups of vegetables and fruits. So that's one quick way to incorporate it. Number six, trim the fat. Fat has a lot of extra calories and these calories, they count. Purchase lean meats, tofu, eat poultry without the skin, switch to lower fat cheeses, use a nonstick pan with only a dab of oil or butter. You know, the fat adds up and that oil and butter adds up. So remember that. Number seven, consider calcium by adding two or three servings of low fat or fat-free milk or yogurt. Eating leafy greens can also help with increasing your calcium intake if you need to. Remember to downsize. <laughs> the smaller the bag, the bottle or the bowl, the less you will eat. Number nine, lose just five to 10% of your current weight if you're overweight. The health benefits are huge. You may end up lowering your blood pressure, your blood sugar, your cholesterol and triglycerides. So there are so many benefits to being at a healthy weight. And number 10, last but not least, Keep track of your eating. Sometimes it helps to write down what you eat over the next couple of days and, you know, just review it with a health coach or by yourself to look for problem spots and ways where you can improve. Often, just writing these things down can help you to eat less. So, and that's it. That's our 10 steps. I want to thank you for joining us and remember to subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.